Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I got it. Go, go, go. 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 Go, Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out, nigga! Get the fuck out! Hey, I know. So, there's a shooter at Dawn High. They say it's a teacher that tried to shoot himself. But we don't know yet. Just absolutely so proud and thankful of our faculty, our students, our police department and police officers that responded to our school today. I, I can't thank our police department enough for what they did. Um, I can't thank our faculty enough for what they did. I saw a lot of brave kids and a lot of brave teachers today do a lot of brave acts. And so I, I appreciate them deeply. Um, they did exactly what we trained to do and so that that, uh, if anything, out of all this, that was, that was good to see. I told him, I said, hey, it's me, it's Steve, it's Steve Bartu. And um, he, uh, I put my key in the door, and again, he slammed the door before I could open it and said, don't come in here, I have a gun. And so at that point, I put our school into a threat lockdown immediately. Um, and it was shortly after that that I heard a gunshot, and um, we were into uh, a threat lockdown at that point. Um, again, we followed the procedures for a flat, uh, threat lockdown uh, to the T. Uh, things went well. It seemed like with, it literally with just a matter of minutes or so, we had officers responding on scene. Um, we did evacuate um, a part of the hallway and where the classroom, the incident took place. Officers helped us do that and cleared that area of the building fairly quickly, got kids into a safer location. They were safe, but got them into a safer location. Um, of the building and again I can't tell you how proud I am of our kids and our teachers for uh, making that happen in a very the students quick went to social way. media to warn people about what was going on 11 Elias Melissa Long is following the post from the students. She joins us live from our newsroom right now. Yeah, no surprise that they were online today using digital media. We've seen this in a lot of recent cases, social media playing a critical role in spreading the information and the sharing of critical information. Within just minutes of that story breaking, we saw a lot of the students start posting videos on Snapchat. Here's one such video. <laughs> What are you hearing there? You're hearing the students frantically running in this snap as they are evacuating their school. The student who posted this was alerting others. There's a threat. 
they are fine and that the person with the gun is still in the building. Throughout the afternoon, so many of you have been turning to 11 Lives Facebook page and website trying to track the very latest information with our story, reaching more than a million people just online. We've seen a lot of questions like this one from Victoria on Facebook. So why did he do it? Why? To prove a point is her question. It only works where you have people very adept at using firearms, of which you have many. And it would be teachers and uh, coaches. If the coach had a firearm in his locker when he ran at this guy, that coach was very brave. Uh, saved a lot of lives, I suspect. But if he had a firearm, he wouldn't have had a run. He would have shot, and that would have been the end of it. And this would only be, obviously, for people that are very adept at handling a gun. And it would be, it's called concealed carry, where a teacher would have a concealed gun on them. They'd go for special training, and they would uh, be there, and you would no longer have a gun-free zone. Gun-free zone to a maniac, because they're all cowards. A gun-free zone is, let's go in, and let's attack. Does anybody like it? Right? Yes? For Meadow, your beautiful Meadow. We talked about that. Um, and do people feel strongly against it? Anybody? Anybody? Strongly against it? All right. I mean, I can look. We can understand both sides. Of it. And certainly it's controversial. But we'll study. Our future. Is to be diligent. To speak up. To be aware if you see something that may seem wrong, may seem violent, may seem threatening, say something. You don't have to be the judge. Let the experts decide what's.